Right, and as the race heats up for who will be the next Chief Minister of Telangana, ladies and gentlemen, a unanimous resolution has been passed by the Congress Party in the state, authorizing the Congress President Marikarjun Kharge to appoint the Chief of the Legislative Party uh, when it comes uh, to uh, the state of Telangana. The CLP leader, the Congress Legislative Party leader, the authorization has been given by the state leadership to the High Command, which is Malakarjun Kharge, to pick the CLP leader. I'm joined by my colleague Swastika Das, who's been tracking all the developments coming in after this uh, stellar electoral show in the state of Telangana. Swastika, you've been tracking all the twists and turns when it comes to the politics in Telangana. Is Revant Reddy the clear candidate when it comes to the chief, the next chief minister of the state of Telangana, or are there rumblings continuing within the state unit? Uh, Revant Reddy is a popular choice, but rumbling certainly continues because several of the senior Congress leaders believe that Revant is not fit enough, uh, in their words, to be uh, the CM of uh, Telangana. Uh, but having said that, the leaders who are in fact not in favour of uh, Mr. Revant Reddy have also been holding back-to-back backdoor negotiations. In fact, interestingly, before Mr. D.K. Shivakumar, uh, the troubleshooter in this case, arrived here at Yela uh, Hotels where uh, the Congress CLP just concluded, he met with leaders in the likes of Uttam Kumar Reddy, Bhatti Vikramarka and uh, Rajgopal Reddy. All of them are strong MLAs who won by a huge margin for the Congress party uh, at a hotel uh, in Hyderabad itself where it is given to understand that uh, all of them expressed their desire to also be running out uh, CM aspirants. In fact, uh, as you can see, there's a battery of media around me, so I'm going to wrap up quickly. Uh, right now, uh, Raven Reddy definitely seems to be the front runner in terms of the popular choice because everybody here, almost a majority of his cadres have been chanting his name, uh, batting for him to be the CM, but it's certainly not going to be an easy one for the party here to pick because they have to go through the track records of several other loyal Congress leaders. For instance, Anutam Kumar Reddy, who has been a seven-term MLA for the party. He was the former PCC chief, has clean image. So has uh, Bhatti Vikramarka. In fact, he's a strong leader from the Dalit community which has voted en masse for the Congress. So if you look at the contenders, uh, many of them are in the fray. Uh, interestingly, uh, has to be seen how the high command goes ahead with their choice. Uh, the other uh, development from uh, this place is that the CLP, uh, remember, has passed a unanimous resolution uh, allowing uh, Malikarjun Kharge, Congress President, to pick the next CLP as far as uh, Telangana is concerned. From here, we are also hoping that there will be a conclusive decision on who is finally going to be picked as the Chief Minister of Telangana from the Congress side and then they will be moving things to Raj Bhavan where the Election Commission, uh, elect Chief Electoral Officer, I beg your pardon, will be in fact coming there uh, with his official uh, document announcing Congress as the winner and that process once it's done then the Congress will go back to the Raj Bhavan's taking claim to form the government. Right and Swastika when it comes to the uh, rumblings within the Telangana Congress, uh, Revan Reddy, of course a favourite of Rahul Gandhi as well as Malikarjun Kharge. So is the battle when it comes to picking the next Chief Minister clear or let's say Revan Reddy gets picked as the next Chief Minister by Malikarjun Kharge, are there any wild cards within the Telangana Congress? that could, you know, rebel against the high command, take their MLAs or, you know, uh, throw some spanner in the works after this hard-fought victory for the Congress? Well, to avoid any kind of disruption to the uh, usual process, that's why the high command here has in fact sent DK Shivakumar. He's the one who's been holding talks with all the CM aspirants. And in fact, as far as Mr. Raven Reddy is concerned, uh, favours have been in, I mean, th or rather things have been in fa his favour because of the massive popularity that he enjoys. Also, the fact that sources within Raven's camp claim that at least 40 MLAs are backing him. And this piece of information 
time is crucial because there are certain internal factions and groups here vying for the chief minister's post, uh, right from uh, Bhatti Vikram Arka to Uttam Kumar Reddy. They, there are supporters, in fact, clamoring for their respective leaders to be made. But ultimately, the high command we're given to understand is going to look at two factors. One is definitely the caste factor. They want to balance it out so that members from all community are represented. And when you talk about the Reddy community, certainly uh, numerically uh, not very significant, but in terms of the power that they wield, they're very significant. And also the fact that uh, Bhatti Vikram Arka is a popular choice because he's a leader from the Dalit community. Uh, then you have, uh, uh, again, Uttam Kumar Reddy, as I've mentioned, and other leaders. You have uh, Ponam Prabhakar whose name was also coming up uh, by uh, his supporters who believe he's a strong BC leader. So what arithmetic the parties perhaps are going to look at is definitely caste being one of the big factors. They want to balance it out. They want to ensure social justice within the cabinet. And certainly, Revan Reddy is not perhaps the only choice uh, that the party will look at uh, as far as my reading goes uh, into the development. But he's certainly the front runner for sure, Aishwan. Right. Uh, Swastika, also when it comes to the Telangana Congress, uh, the margin or the MLAs above the halfway mark for the Congress party is less than 10. Are there any fears within the Congress camp that these MLAs need to be ring-fenced uh, till the prospective chief, chief minister takes the oath of office? Perhaps not at this juncture because uh, that was the popular belief. In fact, the Congress, remember we were discussing this earlier, had kept a fleet of buses ready. Uh, DK Shivakumar was moved here. Perhaps there was a notion that resort politics would uh, find its way again here. But not at this juncture. 64 MLA strong is Congress. They have another MLA as well. 65 is their total number. In fact, interestingly, Badrachalam MLA of uh, the TRS has also uh, now uh, switched camp. He's going to, star, uh, uh, he's going to join the Congress. So, the you know the music from the Congress side is that a lot of DRS MLAs are in touch with them and they're hundred percent confident that their number is only going to go up and not come down. Right, Swastika, please stay with us. We're getting a reaction from DK Shiv Kumar, who's uh, gone there as a troubleshooter when it comes to allaying the fears of other uh, prospective uh, chief ministerial candidates and trying to iron out all the issues before the Congress goes strong under one chief minister to form the government in Telangana. Listen in. Today we had a meeting of the Today we had a meeting of the Congress Legislative Party of the newly elected members from the Congress party. The first, the Congress National Party decided to thank the voters of Telangana for giving an opportunity to the Congress party to so serve them better with a good governance. The legislators thank the Congress President Shri Malikajan Gargaji, Sonia Gandhi ji, Rahul Gandhi ji, Priyanka Gandhi ji and all the senior Congress leaders who came, campaigned, helped for them and guidance and contribution to the development of the party in the campaign. The third is that all the members of the Congress newly elected party anonymously resolved to authorize the AACC President Sri Malikajan Kargeji to appoint the Congress Legislative Party leader. It was being moved by the PCC President Mr. Raven Reddy, second, seconded by Pati Vikramaditya, Uttam Kumar Reddy, Ramadar Raj, Kumti Reddy, Sridhar Babu, Ponam Prabhakar, Sitaka, Prem Sagar, Kondal Sureka, Pal Nayak, Tumala Nageshwar Rao, Kondal to Srinivas, Vedam Boja and Dandi Srinivas. All these people seconded and it was being proposed by our PCC president, uh, PCC president Mr. Revan Reddy. This, this authorization will be sent to the ACC president Mr. Malikajan Kargeji and all of them decided whatever the ACC president and the high command decide, we will go by the decision of the party.